Today, I just want to give you a quick introduction to um, three brand new products we have um, and um, a couple other things. Um, but this is easy, easy card making today with three new products and um, it involves stamping, um, but really no other um, major paper crafting work. So real easy bundle of cards for you to make. I'm featuring the Delightful Day Photopolymer Stamp Set, brand new. It has a coordinating Delightful um, Scallop Tag Punch, and um, I'll show you how to use that at the end. I'll also be using a little bit of this beautiful terracotta tile ribbon. And then finally, we'll also be using the scallop note cards and envelopes. These are sort of the feature product of today's uh, Facebook Live. It comes with 20 cards and 20 coordinating envelopes, okay? So it comes with balmy blue, there is a soft pink, and then there's old olive, and one of our new in colors, terracotta tile. So you get 20 of the note cards, they're already cut and scored and have that beautiful scallop on. They're white on the inside. And then it also comes with 20 coordinating envelopes. Okay, and again, it also has the scallop cut in there for you, okay? So a super great value. 20 note cards, 20 envelopes, $8. And when you see how easy it is to make beautiful cards with this one Delightful Day stamp set, um, I think you're really going to um, be interested in possibly purchasing, purchasing these, okay? So I'm gonna set my punches aside for now. We're gonna use this at the end to make a tag and I'll show you more about the punches then. Okay, so I've already made one for you and to um, show off this scallop just a little bit more, the, Lisa, this stamp set is brand new. It's in the uh, brand new Stampin' Up! annual catalog that was just released on June 4th. So you'll be able to get it for a whole year yet. Um, but I do think it's one that's very versatile that you would use throughout the year, okay? Um, I thought there was another question. Okay, I guess not. But yes, the scallops are so pretty and it would make a beautiful note card just like that. You can stamp a simple thank you or something like that, but we're gonna fancy it up just a little bit, okay? What I've done is cut some half inch strips that I'm going to use for some note cards, okay? So what I did was just cut five inch by half inch strips, put some adhesive on the back, and then you can just line up the bottom edge of the strip and the card and the sides of each and just lay it in place and it gives just a little bit of different look okay and here you can see um, this one this stripe is from the come sail away designer series paper it's the balmy blue okay with whisper white and then i pulled a pattern from the bird ballad um, suite designer series paper and it's got this beautiful, um, colorful stripe throughout it. So again, five inches by half inch, and then you just um, adhere it to the bottom inside of your card, okay? Now let me show you how easy it is to do some stamping on there, okay? I've pulled, and there is a reason I have this um, piece of Baker's twine on my um, Stampin' Pierce mat, and let me show you. For this, for these cards, I'm using just two stamp sets right now, or two stamps from the set, the leaves and the flowers, okay? I am keeping my um, 
Simply Chamois Handy. And what I did, because I didn't, I don't have any kind of line there to help me do even straight stamping. Um, so what I did was I just put this piece of Baker's twine um, and tucked it in place with some edge of my um, dimensional sheets, okay? And that way, that kind of gives me a visual for a straight line that I'm going to use, okay? And then I'm going to start pretty much in the center. Stamp once. I'm going to stamp. Let's go to the left. Again, I'm using that piece of Baker's twine as my guide. Easy and simple, isn't it? And let's do some of that. And I like to look like it to look as if I'm stamping off the paper. So I am going to go beyond. I really should have a piece of um, scrap paper there, and I don't. I should grab one to put underneath. Okay, and so I have that much. Okay. Then, and you don't really need it um, on the string then, but I've pulled out my Knight of Navy ink, and now I'm going to add the flowers. Okay, and I can, because this is photopolymer on an acrylic block, I can pretty much see where I want that to go. I have some residue from that rose gold shimmer paint I used a while back on my clear block, but no problem it still works out just fine okay and you can do this so that the flowers touch the stem or they're it it doesn't have to be perfect and that's what I love about this okay so really really simple right okay now on this one I've used a white chalk marker to go over the dots of the flowers what I will tell you oops that's not even the right thing um, what I will tell you is I didn't really think um, that the chalk marker was seen that well. It seemed to just kind of, how do I say, um, it kind of just take on the ink, okay? And let me show you what I mean by doing it on the green, the olive green dots, okay? You see, it just kind of fades them out. So if you do that, you want to go over it just like that let it dry and you may need to clean off the tip of your chalk marker because it does pick up some ink our classic ink pads are water-based so it will pick up some ink but once you've done that and it's dried I would suggest you go back over it to get a more bold white after it's dry, okay? And again, the reason for that is your white chalk marker will pick up some of the ink color that you've already stamped. So if you want a bolder look, and you can see the difference here from one application of the chalk marker to a second one, okay? The other thing I did was add Wink of Stella, okay? And you all know what Wink of Stella does, right? You just go over the areas where you want a little bit of glimmer or shimmer, okay? It just gives a wink of shimmer, a wink of bling, okay? Very, very subtle, okay? And you just kind of um, paint it on with the brush tip very easy to do okay okay and again it will pick up some of your ink as well so just go ahead and clean it off just wipe back and forth until it is clear like it normally would be okay then you can go back in, and this time I'm just going to do 
the dots above the flowers, okay? Not the dots around the leaves. So again, remember that this chalk marker will pick up ink. So you're gonna go over all those dots. Kind of gives a look of a, like a milky look as it covers, especially these dark colors that I'm using today. And then you'll want to, when they're dry, go back to the beginning and start again with some of that chalk marker, okay? If you hear pounding in the background, that's because my Andrea um, is here helping me today. She's in the other room putting together um, an IKEA um, cubicle shelving unit for me another one in the craft room because I just it's such a mess in here and I'm trying to get organized and it seems like I do and then I change the way I want things so right now it's crazy and I'm still trying to pull out some retired stuff and deal with that but at the same time working with all my new new favorite products I, should, I can't even call them favorites you know I have so many that I like <laughs> okay so there's that now, if you wanted to do a little more and make a little bit more of a um, bold look to your cards, go ahead and fill the leaves in with your Stampin' Write marker. Okay. And again, the value you can get out of purchasing the um, scallop note cards and envelope set is really great. Eight dollars for 20 of each. So I mean where can you get or make 20 cards for eight dollars? That's awesome. Okay. Actually I kind of like it better with the leaves colored in. How about you? Okay. I think these could have been down a little bit closer to the scallop, okay? You might also have some kind of um, basically horizontal line stamp that you'd wanna put in there or um, the stitched label framelits has like the little X, um, kind of like the cross stitch mark in a line that you could um, put on there as well or you can put just a plain piece of, um, it would need to be thinner than this, but you could put an even narrower piece of designer series paper across there, okay? And then of course, you can stamp your envelope. I'm gonna color in these leaves. And, I'll add some of my Wink of Stella. Maybe, I, maybe I'll add the Wink of Stella to the flowers and the dots above the flowers this time instead of the white. Again, this picks up the ink. So be sure to wipe it off before you put it away. Okay? So fun, quick, and easy, right? Okay, and you may want to try some different colors along the way. Um, again, this pattern is from the Bird Ballad Designer Series paper. Yes, Inez, the Stampin' Right markers are water-based, just like our um, standard classic Stampin' pads, okay? So both of these products are water-based. It's only the Stampin' blends that are not okay those are alcohol based so let me try the pink one now and i think i'm going to put this is terracotta tile so i think either terracotta tile or calypso coral would be pretty on here um let me see let's and if you were not with me from the beginning, what I said was I put this line of Baker's Twine here to kind of give me a guide as far as um, being able to stamp in a straight line. So that's the purpose of that, okay? Just a quick trick. And I'll stamp my leaves again. 
I'll stamp a little bit closer this time. And again, I like to go off the paper. Okay. And I'm gonna pull that out and I will stamp my flowers. I love, you can't see it, but I have, I always have my um, Simply Chamois here to the side and opened. Um, and I just clean my stamps right as I go along. I love that. Okay, so let me try this with the terracotta ink. Terracotta being one of our new in colors. Oh yeah, it kind of gives a um, sort of a pinky red effect on the pink cardstock. I think it's pretty. And again, I should have a piece of scrap paper. on my stamp and pierce mat which I don't but that's okay I'll clean it it'll clean up okay I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of flour right there just to make it kind of even out okay what do you think pretty good hi PJ or Pam I should say Amelia Sue joined me thanks ladies I think I saw Reba join me also okay um, I'm going to fill in the green leaves. Now being that in this set you get 20 cards and envelopes, these would be great to make a couple of gift sets for um, friends, for teachers, for your moms, um, perhaps co-workers anything like that just a nice little hostess gift or birthday gift um, a gift of appreciation or gratitude okay you can make up sets of um, four cards eight cards do a couple of each color okay and of course you would need something to put them in right so I think we should make a tag to put on a simple gift bag. You know, you don't have to spend a lot of money on those expensive gift bags. Just get something plain and dress it up with um, some paper or tag or ribbons, okay? I know you have plenty of stuff in your craft room to work with that you can make um, a simple, pretty, um, occasion appropriate gift bag okay so I've added my wink of Stella that's not good alrighty so let me show you this okay so there's my finished card it looks pretty doesn't it okay and now let's make a tag because oh one thing I should say too there are these, um, there's some wonderful um, sentiments in here that you can stamp on the inside of your card. You can also use these smaller sentiments and punch them with the um, classic label punch. Reba, thanks for sharing. I sure do appreciate that. Okay, and Inez, you're saying maybe a little butterfly to the left of the visible flower. Oh, that would be cute. That would be cute. And this small butterfly from the Butterfly Wishes stamp set that we used on, what day was that? On Tuesday this week would be perfect for that. Um, in fact, you know how I am create on the fly so let's just do that and then I'll let me grab a piece of scrap paper and then we can cut it out with my butterfly duet punch and I think I'll do um, pool party matches that so I'll do a pool party butterfly 
great idea, Inez. I love it. Hi, Alice. Hi, Mary Lou. Raining in Florida, too. Oh, no. Seems like it must be raining everywhere today. Okay. What a great idea, Inez. Thank you so much for sharing that. And look how quick and easy it is to do. I love it that you at home are creating with me. <laughs> and that's kind of, that's, you know how that's, up, that's how I roll. Create on the fly, right? You've heard me say it many times. I've learned to not stress myself when I'm designing. I kind of just go with my thoughts and tweak things along the way. And most of the time, I'm very happy. Um with that. What do you think of that, Inez? Okay, and I did pop it up with a dimensional, okay, just to show it off a little bit more. I love it. I think that's really cute. Thank you so much for that wonderful idea. Okay, so let's move on to making a tag. All right, I'm starting with a two inch by four and a quarter inch strip, okay? And again, this is creating on the fly. I have not thought about it other than we're going to make a tag, okay? And I like this one here that says just a little something for you, okay? And I know I wanna add some flowers along the bottom. So I'm gonna put my flowers on first and I'll once again use the old olive for the leaves and stems. I'm going to use terracotta ink for the flowers on this. Okay. And then I think up here is where I will add this message. Okay. And where's my other block? I had an extra block, here it is. And I think that I will do this in what color? I think we should put a butterfly on this one too. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it in green, I think, and we'll do a pool party butterfly as well. And I think right about there looks good. Awesome, right? Okay, let's do that butterfly again. And I guess I dropped my scrap paper somewhere. So I'll just grab a different one. Okay, there's my pool party butterfly. Stamp it with the butterfly duet. Alice, thank you for sharing. Some of you may know my mom's name was Alice. Mom's been gone nearly three years. I miss her a lot. And she was somebody that I have to say really, really, really appreciated my cards. <laughs> she never made cards. Um, but uh, she did always really appreciate them. Lots of times I would just grab a bunch and stick them in an envelope and mail them off to her. And she would never ask for them, but it was funny because she would somehow always let me know that she, um, had used the last of them. Oh, Mary, I just sent the last of your cards off to your aunts and uncles. And so I always took that as my hint um, that she was in need of some more, which is fine and lovely. But I often think of her when I'm making cards and mailing out cards to people. And did you know that when you place an online order on my website and you use my monthly host code, you will receive five free cards in the mail from me. No, it's true. You do not hear that name Alice too much. Okay, so now I'm going to use the scallop tag punch. Okay, tag, scallop tag topper, I forget. Delightful tag, I think is what it's called. But it is designed that it will hold two inch strips, half inch strips, and then one inch strips. Okay, just like our um, other tag punches and our triple banner punch. Okay, 
So just push it in all the way, give it a good squeeze, and there's your tag topper. Okay, and it's pretty, okay. I'm going to add, cut a piece of terracotta tile ribbon. And what I like to do with mine is um, hold it, uh, fold it in half, and then hold it at the fold, and push, hi Melissa, push that fold through from the front to the back. So then you have this loop in the back, okay? And then I'm gonna stick my tails through that loop. Okay, this is our one of our new in-color ribbons. We haven't had one like this before and I, I really do like it. I like the texture, I like the feel. This is a little bit thick for this hole, but let me, there we go. Sometimes you have to be real gentle pulling that through, okay? And there's my tag. And then, like I said, you don't have to spend a lot of money on fancy gift bags. There's my scrap paper. But I just have this little brown bag, and I'm gonna put my tag on here like this. I'm gonna tie a knot. I'm gonna take those two ends together and make a knot. I can. Okay. And of course you can use any kind of ribbon that would coordinate with your cards or whatever gift you're putting in your bag. I want to trim these edges off just to make it a little nicer. Always trim your ends looks a little more um, polished, more finished. Okay, and there you have it. So inside, I, now I can finish up my cards and stick them in there with their envelopes. Okay, this might be a nice way to do it. Put a nice bunch in there and it makes a beautiful gift. Oh, Beth, you knew somebody, your mother-in-law, Alice too, and I used to work for, with an Alice. And there's something about Alice's. They tend to be, I don't know, just sweet but spunky, the Alice's I know. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed today's um, Facebook Live and seeing a few more of the wonderful new products that Stampin' Up! has to offer. Again, these are all in the new annual catalog. Okay. And if you have any questions about products or what you've seen in today's live, be sure and ask, and I'll do my best to answer those questions as quickly as possible. If you are still in need of a Stampin' Up! annual catalog, I'm happy to put one in the mail to you and to earn your business. All you have to do is private message me your full name and address, and I will get one off in the mail to you, okay? Ladies, thanks for spending part of your Thursday with me, and I do hope that you'll be back. I hope that you will share my business group, Stampin' Peace VIPs, with other friends and family of yours, um, and I will see you. Would love to do the felt cards if you get that kit. Inez, I will be getting that kit soon. I have not ordered it but last night I actually was looking at all of the um, kits and I was also looking at items in the um, Beginner Stampers uh, brochure, which are items exclusive to that brochure. I'm waiting for those. In fact, they should arrive at my house later today um, because there are some sets in there um, that are great for Beginner Stampers as well as people who just like simple, fun stamping. So, um, yes, for to see me do the felt cards. Yep, um, I will be getting that soon. Okay, next week you can join me Tuesday evening, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my business page, Stampin' Scrap with Mary Nade, and Thursdays, 2 p.m., 
on my Stampin' Peace VIP group. So I'll be back twice next week. Have a great weekend. Thanks for joining me.